the bookstore I'm looking at books so I was thinking about getting a Japanese English dictionary and just just I need it school it, it taught me a trick what you need to do supposedly is spin it so it centers itself right then from there that's when you try to get on let's try one more time we're gonna do the we're gonna do uh this side first so we got one side obviously these sides a little bit easier spin it to center it okay we did both sides the hardest part <laughs> is the middle side here there's like a hole right here and it's supposed to kind of land like this and that's the hardest one i've done it like twice actually when i first picked up the game i finished in 30 seconds and i never played again i got lucky probably not going to make it this time it's worth a try Okay, we're done with this. Book here, fourteen dollars. I already bought like two, or three books in the last few days. So, so much I love spending money constantly on books. It's getting kind of pricey. I'm not sure how much I need this because I'm about to buy this, and then I'm about to buy a book to actually translate. I feel like I should focus on my reading and translating and stuff like that. But when the kids learn. They're not born with a dictionary and a book. They just pick up the language by listening. So I should probably watch more TV shows, news, um, stuff like that. A little more audio first. This is like elementary level uh, books. I figured if I'm be sh shelling out like, you know, 15 bucks for a book, I might as well get like a, the thickest book I can. 20 bucks. Okay, that's not too bad. Which the kanji is crazy. Check it out, you gotta read it from top to bottom, from right to left. So, and some of this kanji does not have translations. So this book would be uh, way too difficult. So I think I'll skip this section. They have some lighter books this way. They're gonna be the same price, 20 bucks for like 20 pages and have like three sentences. Okay, more than three sentences, but still, I don't want to pay 20 bucks for like such a small book. Yes, this is his face. I'm not sure what's wrong with his face, but that is his face. In the end, I decided to get no books, zero books. Eh, save my money. I have, I have quite a few books at home already. Often I wonder, what is the point of stairs plus monster? Cause like, look, everyone uses escalator. Okay, today's vlog is really just me walking around, getting some exercise. Usually, I end up at Yodabashi because it's probably my favorite store on earth. I bought myself a little razor thing with jigger. And hopefully leave this gonna be home faster or anywhere faster. And weekdays aren't as exciting as weekends. There's no one performing or singing, just smoking and nothing. I was debating on trying this or not, but you know me very well. That means try it. Alright. Warning. Um, avoid serious injury. Read the manual, which I probably will do later. Um, let's check the wheels real quick. Yeah, the wheels are good, They're really good. So far this thing is kind of shaky. We decided to take the other side of the tracks because the sidewalks over here are much smoother. It's dark out here. Huh. It'll be fine. This is way faster than my other board.
So far this thing's got me the, the farthest, the fastest. Let's check it out real quick. So when the wheels spin, they light up. So at night, it's kind of good because, you know, taxi drivers and cars can see me. I'm going pretty fast, so they shouldn't miss me. It's really portable, so I can take it on the train with me. So when I start working again, I'll have like a little mini vehicle because I'm running late. Anyways, that's the end of the vlog for today. I will see you tomorrow. Peace until tomorrow. Uh, my hands are full.